What up, it's your boy Mo Hustle, and we are live on the hot seat, and I'm with the homie right here, K Dot. Yes, sir. Same old K Dot. Same old K Dot. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Shit, uh, I come all the way from uh Denver, Colorado, specifically Aurora, uh, called okay. the Echo. Shit, I moved out here like I moved to Houston like probably like four years ago. Been on my grind and shit with this music. You say about four years ago? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm very familiar with with uh, Denver, Colorado, man, and and Aurora actually. Is that right? Yeah, man. Uh, I, I I used to be off of Peoria. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way where uh, Colfax is at over there. It goes that. down over yeah. in Colfax. My 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 sister had a Bell Bonds company right there on Peoria. Oh, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, man, in uh, uh Denver, man, we got a lot of history out there. Crazy. That's what's up. What you know about that uh, Chubby's, man? Chubby's is where it, where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I used to uh, actually walk down the street from my apartment so, like when I was a young nigga and shit. Ain't had no car yet. That was the spot. Hell yeah. But that's what's up, man. So what So what brings you to Houston? Man, I, like I was saying, shit, I, uh, I just started taking this music shit real serious. And uh, I'm a strong believer in God. I feel like everything was just pushing me out here. My family was already out here. My older brother, uh, he do music too. Mm -hmm. So he just introduced me to the scene. Yeah. Put me on a lot of studios and shit. I just started taking it serious and just been grinding for real. Dope. <clears throat> um, how long did you live in Colorado? You lived all your life there? All my life since I was like six months. So I'm basically a native. Uh, what is that music store uh, out there in Aurora? Music store? Yeah, it's shit, in the corner. It's in the corner of a shopping center out there. Shit, I'm not too Angelo. Sure. Is it Angelo's music? I think so. But, uh. So, so who are some of the rappers that influenced you out there in Denver, Colorado? From Denver? Yeah. Influence? Um, I would say I try to really keep my, as, I, as I've grown, I yeah. really try to keep it, like, fresh and authentic. And I, was, I would just say probably my older brother, like I said, my older brother, he's known out there for, for the music. What is his name? Vague Looch. Vague Looch, okay. Yeah, Vague Looch. And shit, he, he 11 years older than me. He been rapping since he was sixteen, so. No. Yeah. Shout out Vague Luch, man. We we actually got a lot of people out there in Colorado, man. We got people on the radio platform. Shout out Simes Carter, uh, the homie K Tone. He just had his own day. Uh, he was celebrating that out there. Yep. Uh, man, a lot of history out there, bro. I actually lived out there for a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, shout out to Lord Loco. He lives in Aurora right now as well. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, man. Hell yeah. So so so, what do you got planned? As far as right now, shit. Recently, I uh I just dropped my first project. It's called The Magician. It's out on all platforms. No. Uh, really, the whole concept of the magician is uh just manifesting your dreams, and you know what I'm saying, bringing your dreams into reality. You know what I'm saying, bringing it into physical form. Everything start with the idea, man. But you know, you got to take your time with it, and you know, shit will happen. Keep working. Okay. And, and how many years you been in the business? In the business, shit. Right. Mm, I want to say. You first do it. I want to say like two, maybe three, because mm -hmm. I was an intern at one of the biggest studios in Houston, Studio Seven One Three. Okay. So. Shout out Seven One Three. Yeah, shout out Studio Seven One Three. <clears throat> I go there, get all my shit mixed and mastered. I still fuck with Ricky Rich. He, that's my OG. Um, but yeah, shit. I mean, the business. I learned all about the business being an intern. Don't. And doing the independent and just trying shit. What do you think is the hardest part of the business? The hardest part? Yeah. Um. So far for you. There's a there's a lot of things when you on the independent route because there's everything that come with you know up and coming artists and shit. You know yeah. you got to fund your own shit. So you know. If you don't got all the money like that, you got to take your time with it. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what, what you're really trying to put out, you want to put out quality shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, I would say the hardest part really is just um, uh, really putting the shit out the right way and figuring out the right ways to roll out your shit and get, you know what I'm saying, get people to listen and... You know what I'm saying? Just uh, get get yourself out there. Have yourself a good business plan and a strategy. Right. Basically. Right. Dope. Yeah. All right. 
<clears throat> is there anybody out there that like really embraced you that really like you felt when when nobody wanted to put you on they actually stood up and put you on uh Ivo Ivo Waves my nigga my nigga Ivo Waves bro uh that's the big bro for real for real and I don't even be saying that big bro shit like mm -hmm. like but like he be doing big bro shit you know what I'm saying shit that I eventually I will do because I'm seeing him do it you you feel me like <clears throat> right. bro got his own food food truck and shit that's just inspiring. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur shit, you feel me? So like, um, bro reached out, I pulled up to the studio and we just been cooking ever since then. So I feel like bro kind of embraced me. He saw he saw what I was doing and shit. He saw me on my grind and he just told me to pull up and we've been we've been tight ever since. So. Shout out Ivo Waves, man. For the, for those who don't know, man, he does uh he raps, he sings, he does all kind of stuff, but produce engineer. You know, he uh Cub. He's uh he does like Reggaeton is what he loves and Latin trap music. So if you need a producer like that, y'all holler at me. We're gonna get at I Ivo Waves. Yes, sir. And uh shout out to Crook as well, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But yeah, uh so so have you done any shows yet? Hell uh, yeah. Uh I done did hella shows. Um just when dropping my singles, I would go do hella open mics, tapped in with some people like uh Paradise Promotions. Okay. I did a lot of shows with them. Shout out Paradise Promotions. Uh, Mama P, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I be I be moving around, just tapping in with different people and really just working. You know, like when you really putting yourself out there, you meet people. So yeah. that's what it's all about: connections and just trying shit. <clears throat> it's like they say, don't chase it, attract it. That part. But if you put yourself out there for it, you're gonna attract it nine times out of ten. Yes, sir. But yeah, hell yeah. So you got any merch on you or anything like that? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? PMO, the brand. You know what I'm saying? PMO stands for Power Moves Only. Okay. I love that we got this chess boy right here because I'm a real life chess player. You know mm. what I'm saying? Uh, shit. Any move that I make, I always, I'm real strategic with my, the way that I move. And that's just a way of life. So I want to promote that. You know what I'm saying? Power Moves Only. That's dope, man. Yes, sir. <clears throat> that's dope. Hella dope, man. Um. How was it for you growing up, man? Did you have both parents in your life? Nah. So uh, I just had my moms and shit, you know. Uh, is it tough? Uh, I want to say it was up and down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't always perfect. But I, I, I definitely won't sit up here and be like, oh, like, I just had it the hardest. Like, mm -hmm. mom took care of us, you feel me? Yeah. Shout out moms and shit, you feel me? Mom, she a good mom. No niggas. It wasn't no niggas running in and out, you know what I'm saying? Mom was always at work holding it down and shit. And uh, you feel me? Yeah. What was one of the uh, best home-cooked meals your mom cooked that you loved? Stuffed shells with catfish. Stuffed shells with catfish. My niggas don't know about them stuffed yeah. shells, dog. <laughs> stuffed going shells, on legendary. One. Anybody that, everybody that used to come to my house and my mom used to cook, they know about them stuffed shells and the catfish, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out, man. I'm gonna check that out. No, for real. Um, but yeah, that's what's up. Um, so far being in H Town, what is your favorite uh, H Town restaurant? Ooh, that's a good ass question. I mean, it could be a hood spot. It could be an expensive joint. Whatever, you know what I mean. Mm. I'm passing your joint right quick. Hell yeah. Sweet. Already. Good looking up. Oh. What do you think, man? Cause cause H Town got a lot of food, man. But if you were to pick one. What do you think? All right, because there's a lot of good ass food out here, dog. Oh, you know what? What is the to go to like on a daily basis? Just do on that. A daily basis. Like you know, if you're just like, man, I'm hungry as hell. You know Boom. It's crazy. It could be fast food and, too. And, and Texas niggas gonna love me for saying this. Uh, Everybody that I be like that come out here. For I already know where you're going. Already, you already know. They yeah. love that Whataburger. I already knew they you was going that there. Whataburger, like that's the first automatic everybody gotta go to. So. I would say on a daily basis, you feel me, you can't go wrong with a Whataburger. That shit better than all the other fast food joints, you know, they be on point. You know what's crazy, man? When I was in Denver, Colorado, they didn't even have a, a, a Jack in the Box at one time. And so when Jack in the Box hit out there, people went crazy for Jack in the Box and shit. It was like, what, 2012? Yeah, it was It was back then. Around that time. But, uh, but you, you, you know where I would fuck with over there? Uh, good Times. Good times, fire. What? No long. Good times, tough. You got to go to the right good times, the one off I live. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, good I'm times, man. Range view and shit. Yeah, I fuck with that good times, man. I got that secret sauce and shit. 
Um, secret sauce, you got to get that secret sauce for sure. You know, <laughs> you know something for sure. Uh, I know, I know, I know my shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, damn, bro. So, so, so how does your mom feel about you rapping? Does she tell you, like, stop cussing so You much. better go get your ass a job, or she say, man, I got you. I'm going to hold you now. Like I said, mom's always been solid. So um, I feel like, you know, it be it be them times, bro, where shit just be like, bro, what you doing? <clears throat> <laughs> and then also, too, it's just like, you know, she can be supportive in, in different ways, you know, but it's it's not one of them things that's like, that's what she expected me to grow up and be. So... You know, I kind of just, it's like one of them type of things, bro. I, I want to really say this to, yeah. for anybody that's listening, you got to prove yourself when you do certain shit, like music and shit, and like, you know, putting yourself out there. Like, everybody not going to support that shit. You got to make people believers. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> I mean, I think that's that's everything. That It ain't just you being an artist or rap or whatever. If you start a business, if you go out there or just have your own ideas, you know, you're going to have to find somebody to support you. Yeah, you know? yeah, but you you get the support by showing motherfuckers by you know, you know what I'm saying by example making them believe in you. Yeah, by example, like, like motherfuckers yeah. just not. You tell somebody some shit. I hear a lot of motherfuckers they gonna say they gonna do something, but nine times out of ten, nobody don't really they don't really do that shit. Anna, yeah, but yeah, that, nah. Hey, look, you talking to that guy, man? I I used to go and sell CDs, man, and. <clears throat> Get a whole bunch of no's, but I ain't never let that let me down, man. I just kept going. Got to you know keep going. I mean? That's my and, and And then I would be nice to the person. Yeah. I appreciate it maybe next time. Yeah. Because some people get irritated. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta be yeah. able to take rejection. It's all about how you take rejection. Yeah. Because on some real shit, next time, they might got you. They might got you. You know what I'm saying? And see, and that's another thing, not to, not to uh, be long-winded, but... I gotta kind of go that extra uh, extent to put myself out there. I feel mm-hmm. like it's a new, it's a new time and uh, it's a new time in, in this music game. So like niggas ain't really out the trunk and like hand yeah. to hand trying to like you know what I'm saying yeah. like how they used to. How they used <clears throat> well, to the the bread was there more back then. If, if if only a motherfucker knew that there was gonna be a cutoff time and it was gonna go digital, people would have took more advantage because right. it made a lot of millionaires. You know, going and investing two dollars and making fifteen, twenty bucks, Sorry, that was man. a win, because, you know, now digitally, you could have like a shitload of streams and views, and you barely get it. You get pennies, you know. So it, it you know, especially if you harder. sign. I mean, it, it's hard, but it, it could be easy as well, because the algorithm might take off on your ass, and then out of nowhere, you good. Yeah. So you know, it's just kind of like a, it's like a. Um, Hit or miss, basically. Gambling with everything that you're yeah. doing, bro. With even the branding from the merch and branding and the music. It's just all, you know. Let's say the music business doesn't work out after a certain amount of years. Do you got a backup plan on what you want to do? Keep doing music. <laughs> keep doing music, okay. Keep doing music and keep running my brand. Consistency is like yo, right. yo, yo, is the key to your success. And nothing is nothing, nothing's going to stop that. You know, that's the obsession that I just know that I have and that, that knowing you got to always follow that. So, yeah. <clears throat> do you know, do you know anything about meditation? Yes. Um, I feel like you can meditate in different ways. Yeah. Praying is meditation. Okay. Uh, just resting your eyes is meditation. But yeah, you know, I I have I don't be one of them people that go into deep meditation. You know, I have before, but I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, oh, I'm woke. Yeah, <clears throat> I got you. Well, when was the last time you you really just meditated? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, you want me to be honest? No, no, be honest, be honest. I was in jail. <laughs> in jail? How long? About how long ago was this? <laughs> <laughs> I was in jail. Uh, well, yeah, I, jail will make you meditate. <laughs> Nah, for real. Uh, I was probably in jail like a year, four months ago, or some shit. I feel you. And, and were you going through something where you were like, man, I just gotta oh, yeah, I was tune going, it all out, basically? Definitely going through shit if I'm in jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going through a lot of shit. I had to meditate. Like, uh, I feel like 
those type of circumstances, certain type of circumstances will like push you towards certain shit to really just like uh, bring your mind to some peace, some type of peace. Right. So where you don't really focus on all the bullshit. Yeah. Basically, I, I, I meditate because like, <clears throat> I don't know, I call it a reset. So you can be going through so many things. And like sometimes I could be going through everything in the world and people won't even notice because I don't show it. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't talk about it. But uh, I just call it a reset, man. I try to give myself a, a reset at least every two weeks. Uh, I might go to the jacuzzi or something, go to the sauna, steam room, or, or, or might even just go get a massage. You know what I mean? And after that, you just feel good. You feel like you let everything go. You know what I mean? And when you let things go, you can move forward. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, to, to bounce off of that, a lot of people have trouble letting go. Like, letting go will create the space for you to have all the the shit that you want in your life. Yeah, well, some people don't know what it is to let go or to relax or to reset, to focus forward. You know what I mean? So some people get caught in the struggle, and, and you might not ever get out because you might be so frustrated and so stressed out that, you know, the streets going to eat your ass up. The, 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 the struggle going to eat you up. You know what I'm saying? You You carry that. That energy, bro, and yeah. motherfuckers see that shit. So right. let that shit go. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <clears throat> but yeah, man, uh, that's dope, man. Uh, I was gonna say some. I could tell that you do uh, a lot of. If you do that type of shit, you do a lot of self care. You know what I'm saying? I try, man, because I'm getting older, man. So I got to. Yeah. Self care is everything, man. Because uh, when I was young, I didn't give a shit. Yeah. I was just running, <laughs> you know. Basically, it was day day by day when I was young. Shit, it was, what are we going to do now? Uh, what lick is going to come through today? You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. You, like that. you know, you know when, you, when you're caught in that struggle, it's, it gets pretty bad. You know, now, I, you know, I haven't had to do that in a long time. But I, I think the key is not chasing it and letting it, just attracting it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I be, you know, it's easier said than done. I feel like a lot of the times, like. You got to have faith, bro. Yeah, that faith. See, see, see a lot of people it's use that. Know, see, see, look, a lot of people use faith loosely. But, you know, if you got, if you really have faith, then you already know you're going to be good no matter what. Right. And I guess once you reach a certain age, you already understand. Like, you're like, I mean, I, bro, there's been times where. The rent's coming up. I ain't got one dollar in my pocket, and I don't know where something just falls in. Boom! Oh, there you go. You see what I'm saying? Or my stomach might be touching my back. Like, damn, I don't know what I'm gonna eat today. Boom! Out of nowhere, shitload of groceries. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when you start stressing and you try to chase it, during that struggle, you're like, man, I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Damn, I'm gonna, you know, you start going crazy. Start, you like know what it. I'm saying? And and, and really. It just adds more negativity to you, and you really might not get get that food by the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you might, you know, if you're hungry enough, you're gonna get it. You're gonna go get it. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes, like when I'm at my lowest, I mean, not lately, but in the past, when I've gotten to my lowest, uh, I'm like, well, let me promote. Let me throw this out there. Let me throw out there. And if I do that real quick, like within a couple hours, the money's gonna hit. Is somebody going to need some of my services? You know what I'm saying? It's like what you lock into. Yeah. I feel like with you, whatever you put your most focus and attention to, you can create something. It can be negative or positive. Right. For sure. That's dope, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, a lot of people say, like, you know, I got, like, an old so I'm, I'm 25. Yeah. I think like this. I feel like uh, I don't really try to toot my own horn, but I think I just come from, like, me learning from a lot of mistakes that I've been, been through. Okay. That I made. How long were you locked up? I wasn't locked up for long. <clears throat> a couple months. A few months. A couple months. That's what's up? Um, I, I ain't know. I ain't gonna. I ain't been like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, a long time. Ultimate street nigga. I done been in and out of jail. Like, no, no. I mean, like, you know, I gotta ask because there's some people that been in that. <laughs> you know, been through some serious <laughs> shit, shit up in there. Stay out of jail. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Just for sure. Solid. Cool. Yeah, that type of shit. That shit. So, did you learn from your mistake though? Right. That was the ultimate thing. Yeah, I did. I did. I learned big time. Never be there again. Yep, yep. Well, shit. Um, do, do you got any uh, 
Any any other teammates? Any other rappers that ride with you and shit like that? Shout out my nigga Stony Sounds. That's that's like my homie. That's my homie. Uh, he to produce. He be like a lot of a lot on my production. Uh, I'm actually starting to get in production myself. Fucking with like him and Ivo. Yeah. Cause you know, like them learning niggas how to make beats and shit. Yeah, them niggas just be cooking up. So I just <clears> be in the mix and trying to. Bro, you know, Ivo be in here every day cooking up like for a sure. Job. Yeah, he be in here doing it. Like a job. Yeah, late nights. Um, who do you look up to as far as the industry? Period. Like, you know, one day you make it, you just wish to have a feature with this person or something. Shit, there's a lot of people, man. That's Give me the top three, man. Give me the top three. See, that's hard, cause um. The way my mind goes, it just yeah. goes places. So like, it's like that attraction thing. Like, mm -hmm. shit, whoever really embraced me, you yeah. feel me? Like, I know who. I would say I'm gonna put out like yeah. J Cole. You fuck with the get okay? You no, know, I fuck with J Cole. Uh, am, am I just putting out people, or these are people I want to get a feature from? To oh uh, yeah. yeah, okay, feature. All right, shit. I, I said this before. J Cole. I said that in an interview one time. Okay. So I had to be number one. I'd probably say Larry June for sure. Larry June. I fuck with Larry June. Okay. Uh, uh, third. That's hard because I'll have to go like a female. Um, probably Janae Aiko. Okay. I feel like we'll do some. some Dope. Oh my God. Is there any other genres that you're interested in too, or are you just trying to keep it all hip hop? Oh, uh, yeah. I fuck with it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist, bro. I just, oh. I just paint. Yeah. Um, whatever you could probably see me on whatever, any, you know what I mean? I feel it. I just, yeah. I feel it. That's dope, man. Um. So, <clears throat> you say you done a few local shows. Hey, did you do any in Colorado? Nope. You doing just, just out here? So, in like I was saying, I, ever since I really took it serious, yeah. shit, you know, I just been out here in Houston, just building out here in Houston. I feel like if I can. If, if, when I make it, okay, look, I put it like this in my head when I first started. If I can make it out in Houston, mm -hmm. I can make it across the nation. Oh, yeah, for sure. Make it across the world because Houston, it's not easy to break it. The South in general, you know what I'm saying? There's so many people doing music now. The music industry has been so different in the last few decades from, like, you know, from uh, the Southern music breaking into the industry because it was all East Coast. So, like, I just love that feeling of just being in the Southern hospitality, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. just getting that Southern experience and developing myself out here was tough. What side of H-Town you? Shit, when I yeah. first got out here, I was in, I was around, fucking around South Park. South yeah. Park, I was right over, uh, also over there by the NRG, you know what I'm saying? That's where mm -hmm. I really was fucking around. Southwest. Man, I really started, I saw the strip. For the first time, all the Cadillacs, all the players, shit was going down for the first time. That shit was crazy. It be a lot of people, and them niggas be driving crazy. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be driving crazy. <clears throat> people be walking on the sidewalk. I be like, that nigga about to get hit. He ain't even paying attention. Hell yeah, man. Well, that's what's up, man. Um, let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Shit. Uh, my IG, same old K dot, S-A-M-O, K-D-O-T. Uh... You know what I'm saying? Shit. Facebook, Twitter, everything the same. I got I also got a little TikTok now too. I've been fucking with TikTok. Let them know how to find you on TikTok. TikTok, same old 24K dot. I think that's my shit. Dope. Yeah. Well yeah, that's a bet, man. Um also follow my YouTube page too, bro. I got some hard ass videos and shit. I got some more hard ass videos coming out. Everything I wanna do is just gonna be like high quality shit, bro. I wanna be I know I'm classic, so I just know how to come, bro. It's always going to be good shit when you come my way, like good work. So that's what I'm trying to be. You know what I'm saying? You don't get in this do shit. Do you believe in, in this shit? You got to be that nigga. Do we have a flat earth or a round earth? Shh, this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. my gosh. These questions. Uh, shit, flat. You know why I say that, though? It's the land. So, like, mm. I don't know. Like, it's just up there. So, like, that's just being around, I guess. But I always challenge every thought, everything I've been taught. So mm -hmm. I learn some shit and learn some new shit, look at it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. You got to challenge shit like that, you know? Yeah. Niggas don't know everything. That's when you really become wise. 
What about aliens? You ever done any alien research? Research, no, but mm. shit, you know, they be talking about it and shit. I don't really. Do you, do you think much. aliens exist? Shit, we, I am an alien. Everybody's alien. Yeah, everybody right? says that. <laughs> That's one. Everybody's alien to somebody. Yeah. yeah. I feel you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, have, have, have you been out of the country yet? Nope, not yet. Not yet? I'm, I'm on my way. You got anything stopping you from going? Anything stopping me? Like like to get a passport or anything like that? Shit, it be me stopping it's me. You? Okay. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to get my shit right, man. I'm going to go out the country one day. First place I'm probably going to go is Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay. What you, what you, you like you like you like you like that jerk chicken and shit, huh? I love jerk chicken. There you I go. Love, uh, <laughs> um, in the in the motherfucking uh, Caribbean food out here, probably, that's my go-to. Yeah. The Caribbean spot off of, uh over there by castles and shit. Hmm. Yeah, you know, fucking around. I got some niggas, that's some up, niggas from New York put me on some <clears> shit. That's what's up, man. Um, we got a lot of shows coming up. Got Mo Hustle Day weekend. They gave me my own day in Houston. So I'm going to be doing that from May 10th all the way to the 13th. Okay. Uh, it's going to be pretty dope. Uh, I'm also working on a like like a fundraiser for my little cousin. Uh, he just got stage four cancer. So we're going to bring bring the hip-hop community out and uh, try to raise some funds, man, because it's like 17 grand a month just for him to go through his uh, procedures or whatever. And, and he just got like over like 10 tumors, you know what I mean, growing. And they're, they're growing at a rapid rate. So, you know, for those watching, man, if you're doing hip-hop out there, if you want to sponsor or whatever it is, we're just trying to raise funds. Or if you just want to be a part of it, um, y'all y'all reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I'll get you some more details, you know what I mean? Sure. But if that sounds like something you'd want to do, be more than welcome to come rock that stage. Yes, sir. <clears throat> you know what I mean? appreciate the invitation. So I get invited. I'm bound to show up. You already know. Yes, sir. But, yeah, man. Uh Shit, is there any, any shout-outs you want to give out there? Shit, shout-out, shout out, man. I appreciate the love. This shit was off the strength. And that's, that's like, the most organic, authentic shit. So, you already know what it love, is, bro. bro. Hell, yeah. So, uh, you ever going to return to uh, uh, to uh, Denver and peek your head out over there? Hell, yeah. I'm finna go back home. I go I go back home and, you know, fuck around a little bit. I just, you know what I'm saying? I got a son, so... Okay, going back and forth over there and shit. Um, you know, we, we we got resources out there, man. So just 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 reach out. Let me know. Always stay connected. Yeah. You know what I mean. Everybody, you know, what I'm saying? I'm, I don't met so many people that's from from Denver out here. Mm -hmm. You know, or some way connected to yeah, Denver. Connected. So it's mm -hmm. like that. That you know. Oh yeah. It's like that road. For sure. Yeah. Did you ever go try to uh four four twenty concerts out there? It's oh now there no. I had a four twenty like, like downtown and shit. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't. It's crazy down there, man. Oh, I did go to a concert on 420. Yeah. I don't be going to too many concerts, but yeah, I did go to a concert on 420. I actually perform, performed out here on 420. No. So I opened up for, uh, what's that nigga's name? I forgot that nigga's name. <laughs> uh, it's all good, man. It's still early in your career, bro. Um, yeah. Just try to put it, my advice is try to put anything, you know, put, it, put everything under your belt. Like, just keep moving, man. Keep moving, you know. Things might not happen the way you want it sometimes. Just get back up and keep it moving, you know what I mean? Man, I got a song called Keep Going. That's there you go. Shit. Like, I was just be pushing it. I, I done took so many L's, bro. When you really a boss, you got to take hella L's. So. Oh, man, yeah. When you took so many L's and you come so far, nigga, you be like, bro, you got to. You can't go nowhere but forward, nigga. You keep going, bro. That's that shit. I used up. to know a dude that made 40 grand every two days. And uh, he, he used to tell me, man, that ain't nothing. Chill out. Keep moving. Right. What are you going to do? Stop. Yeah. Nah, for real. It's like once you get to certain levels too. He makes millions of dollars. He goes, man, you know how much I lose every year. I use over, yeah. I, I lose over a hundred grand. You don't even know. Yeah, it's crazy. And he just be chilling. He be thinking the whole time like this nigga got it. Like, <laughs> and, and and a hundred grand ain't no chump change. That some people don't even make a hundred grand a year. You feel me? He's like, man, I lose a hundred grand. And I ain't just that, uh, that's just light though. I'm just like, damn. Yeah. But uh, yeah. It, it, it just shows me that we'll, sometimes we, we, we overstress about shit and we ain't got no business stressing about, you know what I mean? Yeah. Gotta hit that reset. That reset. And then keep, stay that. focused. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But uh, on that note, man, um, do you have a single or something that you want to promote while you're on here? I want to promote my album, man. Go album. get that magician, man. The magician. 
It's out on all streaming platforms. Check out my YouTube, man. Check out, just search that name, Same O K Dot. S A M O space K D O T, man. You know what I'm saying? Same O K Dot. We working. That's what's up, man. Well, we out. Um, for those that don't know, y'all follow me on Instagram at The Real Mo Hustle. T H E Real M O Hustle. On Facebook, hit me at Mo Hustle, M O space Hustle. It's yes, simple, man. And subscribe to the YouTube channel because we got a lot of a lot more content coming your way. Salute. We got this joint.